Suzanne Banker had head spinning last week with a provocative article claiming successful women are waging a war on men that has resulted in lazy guys who aren't interested in marriage. Oh, and angry, powerful women who are still playing the victim. We got to hear about this. Please welcome Suzanne Banker. Hey, Suzanne, welcome to the show. Very, very glad to hear. I want to go back to your wigs because I so need one of your wigs. Girl, well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. I don't even want to take, I don't want to yeah. take any time away from okay. what we want to talk about Thank with you. you. In your article, The War on Men, you blame women for the existence of lazy men. And yeah. you say, <laughs> and you say, and you also say that because of uh, a lot of women, there are far fewer men today that want to get married. So right. why, why are you blaming why is it women? Our so that they're lazy. So, so what I've done here is basically, I'm asking women to sort of shine a spotlight on what's been going on in the last 40 years. We talk okay. a lot about the rise of women and how men need to so-called man up or step up to the plate or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'm saying is, you know, today's generation of women are being raised very differently than any other generation before them. They're told to never depend on a man, mm -hmm. sort yeah. of to do this, you know, I am I'm, I'm woman, hear me, me roar. roar. And what has happened there is that I think by being raised with that mentality, they're, they're carrying it with them when they go into their love relationships. Yeah. So that it's always, it's more contentious than sure. it's supposed to be, essentially. I would think it's a turn on for men to know that their women do not depend on them for any kind of uh, support. No, I and totally then, disagree. You can I, have it, two no, independent I, I people come that into for, your my wife, With my wife, I don't depend on just let her, oh baby, oh take care of me, oh baby. And my wife is like, baby, go get that baby. She's in bed, go downstairs. She Get up downstairs. But my wife is a she's a strong one, but she'll get up downstairs and she'll do this. She'll cheat me because she wants to be my would mother she, too. Would she ever say, no. Mike, would she ever say she doesn't need you? Because I feel like a lot of women now, young girls are raised right now to feel like they can and they're told they can do anything they want songs, and they don't too. need a man. So they grow up, yes. right? And they don't need like I I'm I do okay, right? Mm -hmm. But I need my like I need my man. And I okay, like so my that, wait, so that word is the critical word. It's uh -huh. the word need. There isn't anything wrong with that. That's my point. The need is so important because men want to feel needed. So just because we've proven we can do anything a man can do doesn't mean they want to hear it. Yes, but you, that, that, that's all well and good. But let's talk about up. let's talk about women yeah. who have been in that position, say like in the 50s, whose husbands decided, you know, they didn't want to be there to be needed, who dumped their wives and went somewhere else and left these women to try to figure out how to keep going. Now, so the, the reason that I'm sorry, the okay. reason women have come up the way they have is so they don't have to find themselves at 40 years old, unable to write a check, unable to check how things get done. This was an entire generation of women that said right. no more. That's why this came about. It had right. nothing to do with making men, uh, it wasn't about that, mm -hmm. you know? It was about making sure that you as a woman knew how to take care of yourself, which most women like were God, not God taught. the child that's part. got his own. No, no, right, so, thing. so, but, so. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, that is how it got started, you're yes. right, but it went south real quick. How? When? Okay, so let me give you an example. Raise raised that way. Let, let, me, let me give you an example. Last night, I came in and I had to go from the hotel to a restaurant and I'm hailing a cab, mm -hmm. right? I've hailed lots of cabs, mm -hmm. no big deal, hail the cab. But you know what? When I'm with my husband, I don't want to hail that cab and put myself in the cab. I want him to hail it and put me in. <laughs> that is, let me ask you this. And yeah. I'm saying, I'm like, do you, right? do you, do you, so, do you let me? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Try being a black a woman to get the cab. No. Try to get the brother to get well, the cab. Get the cab. Don't do that. Jump up to that plate, baby. Jump in front of that cab. Don't run me over. Give yeah. me, baby. Shouldn't yeah. by evolution, right? If if the if the mouse is running faster, shouldn't the cat get faster too? So mm -hmm. what's going on with the men? If the women are doing more and accomplishing why more and more up? independent, why uh, is there something going on there that we're not aware of? So so the keeping up um, concept is what's concerning me because mm -hmm. it puts. What we're basically doing is teaching women that equality means sameness. And mm -hmm. that, if, that essentially, if you're trying to be exactly like a man, you're going to end up doing this. Right. Sure. So, so what, what we don't want to do for our, if we're going to have lasting love for our marriage, whatever the case may be, is we need to be a little bit more vulnerable. We need to allow that femininity and the masculinity to, to do its thing. You I know, agree. it's yin, it's yin and yang. Can, so if you can fix a tire, don't say you can do it. Is that what you're driving at here? Maybe not. I think maybe, so. maybe you don't. Maybe, I maybe, maybe so. Uh, what about